Hello, let's go over how to create a pass plane so you can be successful in British Lit. So, it's happened, it's happened. You've fallen behind the class and now what? Now you gotta get caught up, but how are you gonna do it and how are you gonna do it without overly stressing? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you a simple way to organize your stuff so that way you can complete all of your work without feeling overwhelmed because this very well may be the not be the only class that you're you're behind in so you have to uh, get work done in more than one class and then you also have maybe work or other extracurricular responsibilities so the point is is to make a plan that helps you get caught up but doesn't overwhelm you as much so the first thing you need to do is you need to have a goal in mind when do you want to be done with your work so let's say you're watching this before spring break and spring and you want to have it done by the end of spring break. So today is the 11th. And the, the last day of spring break is 327. So you would want to add rows below just to make sure that you have room and you'd add your dates. And then I'm going to pause it and I'll add all the all the rest of the dates. All right, so we have all the dates set up on our calendar. Now let's look at what the work that need, needs to be submitted. So if you click on this link on this past plan template, you're going to find a list of all the assignments that have been made available to you um, this semester that are still uh, that are still open. Now, you know that you need to have all of the Dropbox work submitted by the 27th for units one and two because those uh, Dropboxes close on the 27th. So you'll have to keep that date in mind. Now, let's say worst case scenario, you are missing all of the work. So the first thing you need to do is count how many assignments you're missing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, 30 things here. They're short quizzes. We did daily reading, and so a new thing every day, which is why you see a little more uh, work. So you have 30 things here for 10 weeks. All right, but now you have 16 days. So give or take, you do two assignments a day and you would evenly distribute that work. So you'd look at what would take more time and maybe get do the one that would take a longer amount of time and decide to do that first. But the like the historical background and the, uh, the uh, navigating digital information quizzes those don't really take too long so you could probably even get you could get these three assignments done within an hour so i think that would be realistic this might take about an hour so i would say set up if you focus for an hour a day on your work you could get caught up real quickly so what you would do i would recommend is make a copy of this list and then go through your assignments in the class and delete the assignments you've already completed. So that way you only have to look at the list of the assignments you have to complete. Then divide the, you figure out your end goal, count how many days you have left to get to your goal date, and then divide the number of assignments you have due by the number of days you have left. And you're really gonna be able to develop a plan that evenly distributes the work with the amount of time you have left, okay? If you have any questions about how to do this or how to organize your time, let me know. I'm more than happy to walk you through it. But again, just have a goal, an end date that you wanna have everything done by, count how many of the assignments you have to have due, then divide the number of assignments by the number of days, and then equally divide that between each day, and then you'll be less overwhelmed, okay? If you have any questions at all, let me know, and I look forward to seeing some work from you soon. Thank you. Bye.